This is a brief teardown video of how to replace the planetary gears on a cyclone motor. In this case, we'll be replacing the nylon gear set with a steel, steel gear set. First, you have to remove the motor from your pedi pedicab or bike. You loosen these four bolts here that hold the gearbox in place. The gearbox is this section right here, and the motor is this section. So we're going to pull the upper cover of the gearbox. Remove the four bolts. One, two, three, four. If you have a cyclone motor cradle in place, bolting it to your pedicab go ahead and remove that and then this is the freewheel of course spins in one direction locks in the other and then this is the top cover of the gearbox okay these are these white gears are the nylon planetary gears as you can see this planetary gear is held in place by a circlip there are three circlips, one for each planetary gear. And in this case, the gears are in good shape, but uh, they may get chewed up if they're under heavy use. The thing that's important to note is how many teeth each gear has. In this case, it's 22 teeth, just counting around the gear. And you want to make sure that you match the uh, new gears to the old gears that they have the same number of teeth. If you have an older 30 tooth gear box, the 22 tooth teeth will not work. If you're switching from steel planetary gears to, uh, or switching from nylon planetary gears to steel planetary gears, this grease in here should be cleaned up and replaced with a grease that is more suitable to um, uh, steel components such as a uh, molly based molybdenum dull sulfide whatever it is uh, uh, wheel bearing grease or something of the like if you put uh, the plastic grease in here it may not have as much lubricating uh, uh, capability so in general it's just a bad idea to mix grease um, so clean that out and uh, put in some new fresh grease when you're ready to assemble this is, this is nigh impossible to do one-handed, but I was going to show you that this is the type of tool that you use to get the uh, circlips out. It's a circlip plier. Um, there are some that open normally and some that close normally when you squeeze them. Either way, you can make it work. This is just a set we have sitting around. Um, you pick them up at a hardware store, Home Depot, uh, auto parts store anything of the like and removed the three smaller circlips on the planetary gears you can see they are out but notice that the larger planetary gears that are holding the bearing to the nylon um, gear set are still in place at this point i'm going to go ahead and try to pull the nylon gears and bearing off of the gear shaft off of the planetary gear shaft and see if I can't uh, free them up that way. If I cannot, I'll have to use a, a tool to help do, with that process. Every once in a while you get lucky and you're able to pull the nylon gears off by hand. Uh, usually there's like some sort of little burr right around the shaft edge that prevents the bearing from sliding up past the uh, groove that the, nylon, uh, that the circlip fits inside. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and use a three gear puller to, or three arm puller to get the gears off. Doesn't take much effort, but it is kind of fiddly and I can't do it with one hand. Most gear pullers are configurable, so you can have them in a, either a three arm or two arm configuration. As small as this gear puller is, it's hard to get in there with three arms. So two arms make it a little bit easier to get in the tight space that we have to deal with here. It doesn't take much effort to pull it out. I'm just kind of showing you what it looks like when you're first starting. 
I'm gonna go ahead and pull the gear from this setup here. Uh, just pulling, tightening this wrench, and then, and then trying to keep the center pulling shaft on, centered on the on the planetary gear central shaft. It's fiddly and it's a pain in the ass. There are better tools to do it with. But this is an example of a tool that you can use in the field for a fairly low cost that'll do the job and keep in your toolkit if you're a pedicabber who's having to do field repairs. So this is coming off now and that's what the gear looks like. Okay. So these are the original nylon gears removed. This is the uh, planetary gear holder. Notice that there is a little ring here that is a spacer that needs to stay in place to keep the gears at the correct spacing. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and remove as much of this grease as I can and start installing the steel gears in the opposite uh, method. Probably just tap them down with a hammer or mallet. Okay, I'm not gonna make this grease removal process into a religious experience but I'm just getting the bulk of it out and I'm about to go ahead and put in the steel gears. So the steel gears are starting to fit on pretty well. It's a kind of a snug fit. I can get my hand on it and um, put a little force in it and start it down. I'm gonna go ahead and use a, a hammer to tap it down lightly. I'm not gonna wail on it, just you know, kind of get it into place. That's one down, two to go. A little tappy tap with the hammer makes all the difference. I'm gonna see if I can fit this one by hand. Uh, it's getting there a little bit more. I'll go ahead and tap it in. There, and that's it all the way. All three gears are in place. Pretty easy, straightforward. They spin nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and install the plant, the circlips uh, back where they were. Since I was wanting to reuse these planetary gear circlips, I was careful not to stretch them out too far, just opening them up just as little as I needed to to get them passed. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these guys back in place. Got one planetary gear circlip in place. This is kind of a terrible angle, but I'll just show you real quick. Uh, what I'm doing with my hands to help get it in. So I'm just spreading this a little bit and putting it on the shaft where it fits in that little groove. Easy peasy. I'm now cleaning up the oil and particles and crud off of the circlip and I fitted it to the tool. I'm spreading the tool a little bit and popping the circlip into place. So now we've got all three circlips in place. Everything spins freely here and it's ready to get greased and installed. This is the ring gear, you might call it, or a sun gear. I'm not exactly sure the right terminology. It goes on the outside of the gearbox, uh, fits on the motor in this manner, and then the planetary gear slip in around it. I'm gonna go ahead and clean that up and try to get a little more grease off of it before I put everything back together. So this is a grease I'm gonna use. It's probably not ideal. I prefer a molybdenum disulfide type grease, but it's do what I have on hand to uh, do this demonstration with. Um, again, I've got it cleaned up fairly well, not religious, just wiped out the bulk of it. Planetary gears are installed, all the circlips are in place, and I'm gonna go ahead and swipe, uh, put a good layer of grease around the outside of this ring and the sun gear and the planetary gears and then fit it together. Okay, I've got a pretty healthy coat of grease on here and the grease will spread around more evenly as they run in. You can see there's good coating on the, the ring gear, the planetary gear, and the uh, ring gear, the sun gear, and the planetary gears. Um, fitting this together is a little bit tricky, right? You gotta get the holes here, line up with these holes, no big deal. But you gotta get all the gears to mate up and fit in. In this case it just went together. Sometimes you gotta fiddle with it a little bit and rotate things around. 
But at this point, it's assembled. Uh, the top is on. I'm gonna bolt everything back together and get it on my bike and go for a run here. Together here, just loosely. Uh, just want to point out the obvious in case you didn't know. This bolt and the other three bolts in this set are five millimeter. And the bolts that go on here for the clamp are not metric but are standard and they are quarter 28. In this case you would use a 3 16 Allen and here you'd use a 5 millimeter Allen. Okay we're back together. I'm going to do a quick bench test. I've just got a battery here um, and the standard Bluetooth controller and a, a throttle. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn it on just to kind of demonstrate the noise level and uh, see what see what we're dealing with here. Um, so this is the first run, just grease, never been turned on before. And it's actually not much different, maybe slightly quieter than the nylon set. I'll go ahead and get a nylon set running here in comparison to uh, let you listen to. And I'll do some decibel measurements on it as well. This is another brand new, straight from the factory Cyclone motor. First run, never been run before. This one has the planetary, the nylon planetary gears inside. And I was just going to demonstrate what it sounds like. And it's a little bit quieter. It's kind of a whirring noise versus the mechanical gear noise. And that may vary a lot based on how much load is on the bike. So I went ahead and ran a decibel meter on each bike in the same environment from the same battery. They have different controllers and throttles. I don't think that'll make any difference. Um, so this one with the nylon gears uh, ran at 85 uh, uh, decibels and that was with me touching the phone to the case. And I wanted to keep it consistent so I did the same thing over here. I uh, ran the one with the metal gears with the phone touching the case and it also ran at 85 decibels. So not a lot of difference. The sound quality is slightly different but not measurably different.